Hello everyone. In today's video, I will teach you how I made my outro in After Effect. Okay, first we have to create a new composition. Just name your composition. Then set the resolution. Take a look at this. If you want to make your outro for vertical video, then the resolution has to be set at 1080 by 1920 pixel. Or if you want to make it for horizontal video, then the resolution has to be set at 1920 by 1080 pixels. Now set the frame rate at 59.9 for a smooth motion and the duration is up to you. All set, click OK. Now right click and create a new text there. Then just type your text. Select your text. Reduce the size of it. Go to effects and control panel. Search for the effect. Increase tracking. Then drag and drop to the text. Press Q. Double click on second keyframe. Then set the value at 30. Click OK. Now drag the second keyframe to the end. Then right click and create a new black solid layer. Click OK. Go to effects and preset panel. Search for Saber. This is the free plugin from Video Copilot. You can download it. Link in the description below. Now drag and drop to the black solid layer. Then go to effects and control panel. Set the glow color which you want. Then set the glow intensity at 60%. Glow spread at 0.15. Glow bias at 0.50. Core size at 1. Now open customize core options. In text layer, select your text. Then reduce the start size value to 0%. Now set the start offset at 50% and click on watch icon to add a keyframe. Similarly, set the end offset value at 50% and add a keyframe. Then go to the end of the sequence and change the start or end offset value to 100%. Press U to show keyframes. Ok now select all the keyframe. Right click keyframe assistant and make them easy ease. Then drag the start offset keyframe few frame forward. Go to effects and preset panel. Search for the effect. Set mat. Drag and drop to the black solid layer. In take matte from layer, select your text. Now you can see the quick animation. Ok, select the black solid layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and change the blend mode to screen. Place the current time indicator in the beginning of the sequence. Now go to effects and control panel and choose your second color. This time, set the glow intensity at 50%, glow spread at 0.50, glow bias at 0.50, and core size at 3. Go to sequence, press U to show keyframes. Select end offset keyframe and change the value to 10%. Similarly, select the start offset keyframe and change the value to 10%. Go to end of the sequence and change both start or end offset value to 60%. Now go to effects and control panel and choose the saber preset which you want. I choose electric. Here is the quick preview of our animation. 
Remember, when you change the preset, the glue color is also changed. So we take the color again. Now select all the layers. Right click. Precompose. Move all our attributes. Click OK. Now it's time to export our animation. So go to File, Export with Adobe Media Encoder. All done. Here is the final result.